welcome, Cubbies. So glad to see you, even if it is over the internet. I'm so happy to be here. My name is Miss Linda, and I will be telling your stories this year. Each week, look for a new email with this week's story. Today, I have a couple of stories for you so that we can learn more about God, Jesus, and his word, the Bible. I am so excited to be with you this year. Welcome back to those of you coming back, and I'm so glad to meet all of you that are here for the first time. I hope I can see you in person soon. So today, we're going to be talking about what it means to obey and what it means to love. So I have a story, a make-believe story for you first. And we know that there are some stories that are make-believe and some stories that are true. This is make-believe, but it could have happened. So we need to remember that we always want to be safe. And to be safe, we need to obey. When you go to the store, you need to be careful to stay with your adults. Because you don't want to get lost. You want to stay safe. Well, I have a story about a little boy who forgot that. He forgot that. He didn't stay close to his daddy at the store. This is Micah. Micah loves to go to the store with his daddy. And his favorite store to go to is the hardware store. He loves to look at all the shiny tools and smell the fresh wood. So one day, while Micah and his daddy were at the hardware store, daddy needed to ask the store clerk some important questions. Please stand quietly by me while I talk to this man, daddy said. While Micah waited, he looked around at the big store. He saw so many neat tools. Daddy, can we go look at those shiny machines with the big wheels? Micah asked. In just a minute, Daddy said. I need for you to wait right here beside me while I talk to the sales clerk. Daddy seemed to be taking an extra long time talking to the man, and Micah got bored. So he decided to go take a peek at the shiny machine with the big wheels. Micah walked to the big machine and he touched the big black wheels. There were so many cool buttons. Micah thought about how fun it would be to ride a machine with all those buttons and those big wheels. Micah was so busy looking at the machines that he walked farther and farther down that long row. When he looked up, he could not see his daddy anywhere. He called out, Daddy! Daddy! Micah began to cry. He knew he should have obeyed and stayed next to Daddy. All of a sudden, Micah stopped crying. He heard his name. He turned around and saw his Daddy. There you are, Daddy called. Micah ran to his Daddy and gave him a big hug. Cubbies. Do you know that we are just like Micah? Just like Micah disobeyed his daddy, we sometimes disobey too. In the Bible, God tells us to obey our parents. And so when we don't obey our parents, we are disobeying God. 
If mommy asks you to pick up your toys and you don't pick them up, that's disobeying God. If your daddy tells you to stay right beside him and you don't, that's disobeying God. If you throw a fit because you don't get your way, that's disobeying and that's disobeying God. When we disobey God, it's called sin. All of us disobey God. And this makes God very sad. I disobey God. You disobey God. Your adults disobey God. Everybody disobey God. And that is sin. But you know what? Just like Micah's dad loved him, even though he disobeyed, God still loves us even when we do wrong things. We have a very special book called the Bible. God talks to us through the Bible because God's words are the Bible. God speaks to us in the Bible. He tells us that he loves us very much. He loved us so much that he sent his son, Jesus. And Jesus could help us with our sin problem. So we're going to learn a very special verse from the Bible. And it's our cubby's key verse, which means we use it all the time. And it's in 1 John 4.10, right here in my Bible. And it says, God loved us and sent his son. Say that with me. God loved us and sent his son. And it's found in 1 John 4.10. We always want to say where it is in the Bible because the Bible is a big book and we want to be able to find it. The Bible tells us that God sent his son Jesus to live on the earth. And there was something different about Jesus. Jesus never did anything wrong. He didn't disobey. He didn't sin. And because he never sinned, he was able to help us with our sin problem. So let's look at another story. And this story is very true because it comes from the Bible. And we know that everything in the Bible is true because God's words are in the Bible. God's word is the Bible. We know it's true because everything God says is true. So, one day when Jesus lived on the earth, and this story is in the book of Mark, chapter 10. One day, Jesus was talking to lots of people. He was telling them about his father, God. And the crowd, there were grandmas and grandpas, and mommies and daddies, and even some boys and girls. And they were all listening to Jesus talk. The moms and dads wanted Jesus to pray for their children. They also wanted their children to learn all about what Jesus was saying. So they kept moving closer and closer and closer to Jesus. Just like this. See the mommies and the daddies and the grandmas and the grandpas and all the children. Can you imagine being that close to Jesus and all the things he was doing and saying? That would be really exciting. And I'm sure that the children were very excited to be with Jesus. So, Jesus had some special helpers. And these helpers were called his disciples. Can you say that with me? Disciples. Disciples. They were Jesus' special helpers. 
the disciples didn't want the children to get near to Jesus. They told the children to stop. They said, you can't come any closer to Jesus today. How very sad. The children really wanted to see Jesus, and they had to turn around and go away. The children probably felt very sad. Make a sad face. Boys and girls, do you think Jesus was happy that the children were going away? No, he was angry. He did not like that his disciples had told the children to go away. Jesus said, let the children come to me. Do not stop them. All the children walked happily for Jesus. See the ch children with Jesus? Jesus loved them. He even held them on his lap. Jesus prayed for each one of the boys and girls that day. Hubbies, Jesus loved the children. And Jesus loves each one of us, too. Our cubby's motto reminds us of that. It says, Jesus loves me. Say that with me. Jesus loves me. And guess what? Jesus also liked the way the little ch children came to him. And they trusted him. They loved him. We can trust Jesus that, and that he loves us and that he can be our savior because he died on the cross and then he rose again to pay for all of our sins. All of those times we do things that are wrong. And people... Jesus said people who trust in him can go and has his, as their savior, because God sent the savior, that we can go and be with him in heaven someday. And that will be a glorious thing. And we would be with Jesus always in this perfect, wonderful place. Because Jesus loved us so much that he had he came to earth to solve our sin problem so let's remember cubbies that jesus loves us our cubby motto jesus loves me and that god loves us so much that he sent jesus to be our savior and that we are reminded of that in first john 4 10 our cubby's verse, God loved us and sent his son. Now, when we're in person, we I always remind us that when we pray, we need to fold our hands and close our eyes so that we don't get distracted. So I want to pray for us now. So would you bow your heads and close your eyes and fold your hands so that we can talk to God? Dear God, Thank you for this opportunity to come and hear stories from your Bible that teach us about Jesus and God and your love for us. Thank you that we're able to have cubbies even when we're not in person. Help us to learn our verses. Help us to listen to our stories and help us to learn more and more about Jesus every day. In his name we pray. Amen. Thank you, boys and girls, for listening. I'll see you again next time. Look for the next email for next week's story.